A big honor for the University of Delaware. Its drumline will be part of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Davis spoke to the excited and proud family of the talented drum major. They've not only been practicing for the 46th presidential inauguration, but the University of Delaware's drumline has also been quarantining as they prepare to escort President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris to the White House on Wednesday after they're sworn into office. As a family, we are more, more than happy for him right now, overexcited, and um, wish we could attend. This is probably be the first band meeting that we haven't um, you know, been able to um, participate in ever. Eric Abner Sr. is one proud father. He and his wife have attended each of Eric's performances since he was eight. But Wednesday's event will be the first they won't attend in person due to COVID-19 and security concerns. I think we can put that aside for a second just to realize that we're going to be literally marching on national television and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people cheering for us at home. Eric is one of four drum majors who will be performing Wednesday. About 45 members of the University of Delaware's marching band will be marching alongside Howard University's drum line, Biden and Harris's alma maters. We've been living here. We're trying to create a bubble so we won't be in contact with anybody else. We had to submit uh, negative COVID tests a couple of days before entering, so theoretically none of us should have COVID right now, and we're also wearing masks at all times. The country is only hours away from making history, and Eric is just proud to be a part of it. I didn't realize that I would end up marching in the presidential inauguration, a historical one for that. Um, and you know, it's a, it's an honor. Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. CBS 3 will have complete coverage of the inauguration. We will be following all of the events as well as the security preparations. Look for live coverage all day on Wednesday.